Welcome to another episode of Pakistan on a Plate. My name is Neelofar Afridi Kazi. We begin our Sindh series on the banks of the Sindhu, from where the province gets its name. On the M5 National Highway in northern Sindh, anticipation and excitement as we approach on the right side of the Indus River banks. In fact, three kilometers away from the river, Mohinjo-daro, the city of the Mound of the Dead. In 1922, an ancient civilization, a city, was uncovered right here in Sindh. An urbanized modern city which dated all the way back to the 3rd millennium BC. Who were these people? This remains a puzzle even today. But there is some information and there is some evidence which has uncovered and tells a story. For us, Ilyas Ansari Saab, a local craftsman from here, guides us through Mohenjo-daro. We were also lucky that Rafiullah Katpur, also a professional guide of Mohenjo-daro, shows us and tells us. Looking at the remains of this ancient place, the city didn't have palaces, temples, or particularly large or grand monuments. There is no obvious evidence that there was a centralized government system, or a king, or a queen. It was a city-state, it seems, and each mound was governed by perhaps elected officials, which then grew organically and became a large city. A pool called the Great Path perches on top of one of the mounds and it is held in place with walls of baked brick. ये जो आपने सीढ़ियां वगैरह देखते हो तो इसमें भी हमें लकड़ी के तख्ते मिले थे क्योंकि आदमी नीचे आ जाता है ऊपर आ जाता है तो हमारा पांव वगैरह जो है वो सिल्प नहीं हो जाए सामने वो जो कुआं लिखा हुआ है उसी कुएं से पानी वगैरह इधर जमा होता था और जब भी इसी का गंदा पानी हो जाता था ये पानी जो है ना बाहर निकाली करते थे ये ये इनका ड्रेनेज सिस्टम है पानी का पानी जो है ये सारा इंडस्ट्रियल में चला जाता था और वो सामने जो है वो ग्रेनरी है क्योंकि 5000 साल पुरानी हमें गंदम मिली है जो हमारी अजाब घर में रखा हुआ है ये इनका स्टोर था ये आप देख रहे हैं हरियाली हरियाली इंडस्ट्री पर ये ये ओरिजिनल 5000 साल पुराना अभी 2 किलोमीटर आगे इस तरफ से क्योंकि यूनेस्को वालों ने बचा बंदी हुआ था पानी दोबारा इधर रुक नहीं करे और आगे इनकी सिक्योरिटी है जो ए ले रहा है क्योंकि हमें कापर के तांबे के जो औजार मिले सारा आगे मिले कलम मिले हैं और लिखाई मिली है और तख्तियां मिली है ये पोर्शन पूरा कॉलेज का है और ये आठ वाशरूम है इनके जहां इस्तेमाल होते थे ये भी 5000 साल पुराने हैं और ये जो आप ड्रेनेज सिस्टम देख रहे हैं ये भी सारा ओरिजिनल है और हमें 10 मटके मिले थे जहां स्टूडेंट और पब्लिक पानी वगैरह पिए ये ओवर शिप कुआं है एक हमें एक ही हमें ओवर शिप कुआं मिला है क्योंकि बाकी हमें जो मिले हैं वो गोल मिले हैं कुएं पॉटरी एंड टूल्स ऑफ कॉपर एंड स्टोन वर स्टैंडर्डाइज्ड इन दिस सिटी देयर आर सील्स एंड वेट्स व्हिच सजेस्ट अ सिस्टम ऑफ टाइटली कंट्रोल्ड ट्रेड देयर आर मेनी इन्वेंशंस एसोसिएटेड विद द इंडस सिविलाइजेशन वन ऑफ देम इज बटन्स For the first time in human history, 
buttons were found right here using a thread both as an ornament but also to attach and close clothing the city's wealth and stature is evident with the artifacts that were found ivory lapis and gold beads clearly they were traders Brick stairways indicate that they had upper story flats and homes. ये एक डिविनिटी स्ट्रीट है एक खुफिया स्ट्रीट अच्छा जो कि इनके बादशाह हो गया या प्रीस्ट हो गया जैसे यहाँ पे कॉलेज बिल्डिंग है वो लोग यूज़ करते थे इनके अच्छा। ताकि वो कोई ट्रैफिक में ना फंसें जल्दी से निकल जाए अच्छा वीआईपी स्ट्रीट वीआईपी आप कह सकती हैं उसको <laughs> किंग जैसे हो गया उसके प्रोटोकॉल के लिए ये थी खास स्ट्रीट द वॉल्स वो ऑल्सो प्लास्टर्ड विदर ऑफ मड टू ऑल्सो रिड्यूस any form of deterioration and effects of the salt of the material they used which made the bricks quite scientific some of the better known artifacts that were found and are globally recognized is the miniature bronze statue of a nude female known as the dancing girl This was discovered in 1926. A few other stone sculptures of the seated male king or the priest king which is kind of funny given that there is no evidence they were priests or a king. The people of the Indus domesticated animals. Cats, dogs, buffaloes, camels, cows, chicken sheep and even elephants horses and donkeys were used as transportation they ate cow meat and fish agriculturally wise there are many representations of bulls and buffalo in terracotta which clearly suggests there was a lot of cultivation and there was a lot of farming going on There is evidence that they grew wheat, barley, peas, lentils, mustard and linseed. And there is also a suggestion that they grew cotton in the summer, but very little rice. It is perhaps telling then that the most Well-known halwai in Sindh is in Larkana. The leap sweets. अच्छा 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 ये स्वीट्स कब शुरू शुरू हुआ? 50 इयर्स हो गए अब तक। अच्छा, और किसने किया? हमारे थे थे। उनका नाम क्या था? उदम दास। उदम दास। जी हमारे वालिद साहब भी थे उनका फादर परमान लाल उसके बाद हमारी थर्ड जनरेशन है अभी तक और आपने सोचा नहीं फ्रेंचाइज बनाए के कराची में बने या लाहौर में आए आइडियाज तो बहुत आए के ब्रांचेस होने चाहिए पर लेकिन मेंटेनेंस का प्रॉब्लम है कुछ थोड़ा ये तो हाँ तो क्योंकि क्वालिटी जो है ना वो बरकरार रखना हमारे बहुत अहम रखता है तो सबसे पुरानी आपकी जो मिठाई थी पहली बार कोकोनट स्वीट जी जी फूडी ट्रिविया मीठा एंड मिठाई आर बोथ डिराइव फ्रॉम द संस्कृत वर्ड mishti meaning both sweet tasting and sweet meat 
just what ended this Indus civilization, Mohenjo-daro, remains a mystery. The Indus River changed course. This most definitely had an effect on the agricultural economy and also the city's importance as a center of trade. Some say a flood destroyed the city, but there is no evidence of that. In fact, this place was not completely abandoned, ever. What is this up there? There is a Buddhist stupa, which is in the actual later period. It doesn't belong to the Mungjo Dado. उनके मुंजो दड़ों के शहर के ऊपर ही बनाया गया है, यानी आसपास की इंटे उठा के मटेरियल उठा के उससे बिल्ड किया गया है सेकंड एडी सेंचुरी में। अब सेकंड एडी सेंचुरी भी इसलिए कहते हैं क्योंकि यहाँ से कुछ सिक्के हमें मिले हैं। There are monastic cells around that Buddhist stupa, जहाँ monks used to live। तो वहाँ से सिक्के मिले हैं, उससे पता चल so this is another civilization that has come to the top of it. So who lives here now? Today, there are only three fishing villages in Mohenjo-daro, the Malla community. Let's go there. Village Imam Baksh Malla. Dua Dua a typical Sindhi greeting which meets us. We walk towards the Indus River Bank. I'm standing at the Band, on the edge of the Indus. Imam Baksh Malla, one of the three settlements in Mohenjo-daro, where we will be learning how to make their heritage recipes. Of course, with fish, but what else? And a little bit of conversation with the villagers. It is absolutely stunning, the limestone large boulders, contrasting with the Indus water mirror, it is just stunning. Many of the people I spoke to, their parents and grandparents were born actually on boats. Imagine that. They tell me the Malla community only settled a few hundred years ago here. Otherwise, traditionally, they lived on boats and sailed up and down the Indus. When the river pirates and increasing insecurity grew on the water is when the fishing community were forced off the river and settled on land. Village Imam Baksh Malla Lovely, simple villagers, curious neighbours gather all around to come and see who is this stranger who has come. Back to the food. They are thoroughly amused when I tell them that I'm interested in their food, recipes, and culinary culture. We giggle. Some of them are Kagga, Dambrag, Muraki, Malli, Palla, which is practically extinct now, Bam which is eel, and lots of other varieties, small fish, which they couldn't really remember the names of, and we couldn't figure out the English version. Recipe 1, Huvo Machi. To prepare this, you need to burn and make a pile of embers. Lots of wood. This, of course, takes time. The fish is washed thoroughly, but the scales remain. So the fish is protected by its skin and the scales. 
Next, it's cooked expertly. In fact, I ask her. Once it's cooked on both sides, only then is the masala applied to the fish. We now move to the second village in Mohenjo-daro area, village Bhalreji. Reminding me of the subsistence living that so many continue to live in Sindh and especially this part of Sindh. They share that when there was no food, they make a simple halwa by combining whatever grains they have in the house with clarified butter or lassi. Recipe 2 Halwa In a pot, add the clarified butter with cardamom and once it's melted, then slowly add the sugar into the mixture and cook. Then add the rice flour to make a cooked paste. Only then add a little bit of water to bhuno the flour until it's dry, brownish. Sesame Halwa Recipe 3 In a pot, caramelize the sugar with cardamom until rich and brown. Then add the sesame seeds until it is soft and gooey. Put this on a flat surface and roll it out. Instead also, you could make balls out of it let it set before cutting into pieces and enjoy. Until next time, from Mohenjo Daro, Dua Dua.